Today's book is the Lincoln Library of Essential Information. This particular volume is from 1929 and it is copyrighted from 1924 to 29 and the original print of this book started in 1921. This is by Frontier Press Company and I find it to be a good wealth of knowledge for learning even today. So you're going to find um, information about writing, women authors. You're going to find information about male poets, the American poets of the United States. You're going to learn information about maps. And you're going to learn a little bit about history and sciences as well. There are volumes and volumes of information, physics, geometry, algebra. There is a, a volume of chemistry and minerals and also national parks and you're going to find information about the painters of these park pictures and you're going to find the pseudonyms of uh, words and you're going to find the synonyms of words and you're going to learn the antonyms of words and you're going to learn about volumes and volumes of useful knowledge you're even going to find out some authors um, anonymous names what they might have wrote another book under information that may be lost someday but by it is in this book yes and we got butterflies and we've got animals and insects and we've got trees and the types of trees and the conifers and just volumes of information and people from history that, that mattered and mathematicians. And you're going to learn uh, equations and the sciences and the math behind the sciences. This is the kind of thing that you can do homeschooling with and possibly get a better education than what you would get from a regular school. And the best part is there are decades of these books. They started out as single volumes and they worked their way up into two and three volume books. Well, three volumes doesn't sound like much, but these things were packed, packed with information. As you glance through the book, you will find that there is just a wealth of knowledge and a lot of surprises information that maybe you can't glean out of a modern book maybe it's no longer in print maybe it's been redacted or removed information about paintings and architecture things that were once standing that maybe are gone the different decades revealed different things about the American culture and what was important and now you may find that some of the things that were in here are no longer acceptable or maybe they are frowned upon in some way. When we bury our history, we are bound to repeat it. When we hide our art and sculptures and things of time, we are bound to make the mistakes that these things may have represented had they been preserved. And I hope you get out and look for old copies of books and let people know what you found. Again, this was the Lincoln Library of Essential Information, 1929.
hidden but not forgotten.